In this video, I will tell you why an iPad or an iPhone gets disabled and show you how to fix the issue. Now, this is a very common issue in both iPads and iPhones. You might have entered the wrong passcode for too many times and that's the reason why it gets disabled for a few seconds to a few minutes and for a few hours as well. And in my case, it's permanently disabled. In that moment of time, they will say that to connect to the iTunes. This fix that I'm going to show you is for all iPads. So don't you worry and watch the entire video and you will be good to go. The first thing that you must have on your laptop or PC is iTunes. So if you don't have an iTunes, download it from the internet. So connect your iPad with your um, laptop or PC and now what you need to do is that you need to hold, press the uh, lock button and the home button together. As you can see, I'm pressing the lock button with my right hand and the home button with my left hand. Keep it pressed. As you can see that I'm still pressing both of them together simultaneously. Don't leave any of any one of them. And as you can see that the Apple logo has come and still we are waiting. Yeah. Now we see the iTunes logo. Now we have successfully went to the restore mode. Now what you can do is keep the iPad on the side and now focus on the computer screen. And keep that in mind without restoring your iPad or iPhone, you will not be able to fix your disabled iPad or iPhone. All your information will be lost because there is no other way. This is a security from Apple and definitely don't you worry if you have a backup in iTunes or in iCloud, you can definitely get back your information. So in the iTunes, they say that there is a problem with the iPad and the iPad needs to be updated or restored. So you need not press the update, press the restore. And then it says that are you sure you want to re restore the iPad to your factory settings and it gives you a warning that all your media and information will be deleted and you need to press restore and update. iTunes will download the latest OS for this iPad. For my iPad it is 9.3.6. Then you see that the iTunes have started downloading the iPad software update that is the iOS 9.3.6 and it depends on your internet connection how much time it will take to download for me it will be like 13 or 15 minutes and make sure that you do not disturb the ipad do not disconnect it and as you can see that there is an apple logo with the progress bar and uh, it will take a little bit of time it's normal so you need to be patient and the progress bar is gone and it seems that the restore has been completed so what it shows now is that your iPad has been restored to factory settings and it is restarting. Okay. So here is the welcome message. Welcome to your new iPad. Now you can set it up as a new iPad or you can restore from your older backup if you had already taken a backup previously. In my case, I have had a backup, but I don't want the information. So I'll just continue with the setting up as new iPad. So now we'll just wait for the iPad to start. By the time it starts, uh, if you're new here, please subscribe my channel and do comment if you have any uh, issues, if you're facing any issues and give this video a like and we'll just proceed with the video. Let's see what happens now. So after it gets started, we see the similar thing that we used to see when we buy a new iPhone or, an, or a new iPad. So just simply go through the steps and you will be getting into your new brand new iPad. And if you had taken the restore from the old backup, which I didn't, then you will be getting back all your information. And even if you didn't have any backup in iTunes, you, you can definitely get all the information back from the iCloud.com after getting into the iPad. So don't you worry if you have a backup in iTunes or in iCloud, anyone is fine. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here and give it a like and comment if you have any issues.